So we started the recording. Um, I'm going to make this a gentle class today. Uh, if anybody, I'm so sorry for the break. I had put some pruning shears into my foot. So I needed to just kind of take it easy for a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to make this gentle. Um, if you have any, you know, uh, anything that you're dealing with, whether it's physically or you just need to slow down, remember to listen to your body. So it is a gentle flow, but you can still kind of do those tweaks sometimes. So really be careful. Uh, I will do a little bit of breath work if you have any issues like heart uh, issues, blood, high blood pressure, if you're pregnant, uh, do not hold your breath in and out, right? You keep flowing with your breath. In, and even if I'm cueing you to hold your breath in and out, you, you're just gonna keep with an even flow. Uh, that being said, let's start on our backs just to kind of loosen up our hips, um, stretch it out just a little bit. Let's just, Make this easy and gentle. So we're gonna just cut our back and we're gonna stretch it out first. So point your toes and reach with your fingertips to each side of the mat and keep a gentle breath going through. Evenly flow your breath from your toes up to your fingertips and then as you exhale from your fingertips down through your toes. Taking a few inhales and exhales here. Remember, you're reaching with your hands and your fingertips, but your shoulders are still reaching towards your tailbone. So you're not shrugging your shoulders up to your ears. You're trying to get them down as you reach your fingertips as far away as from your toes. And then relax. Just let it go. You're going to kind of let your feet flop to the sides. Your elbows are going to bend. And then just take some breaths here. On your next inhale, start to reach, reach, reach in the opposite direction, shrugging those shoulders down, breathing evenly. If you pull your eyes in and really feel the flow through your whole body. Starting to get that Ujjayi breath in, that ocean sounding breath, and then let it go. Still long, deep breaths, in and out. One more time like that. Reach, 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 reach. You might even feel your breath getting longer on the inhales and the exhales as you stretch. Really focusing on filling the whole body with your inhales and expelling completely out with your exhales. And then relax. Keep a focus on those nice long breaths. Now start to bend your knees so your feet are on the ground, hip distance apart. If you need to uh, just take them down a little bit so your knees aren't as bent, that's fine. Wherever you're at, you're going to take your right foot off the floor, flex that foot, and then take that ankle over that left thigh. I can feel here. I've been kind of taking a little bit of a break. My hips needed this, right? So you're trying to get your knee towards the bottom of that mat, right? So that it's your leg is parallel. Um, well, actually, it's perpendicular now to your left thigh. If you want to take it deeper, you can stay here. But if you if you feel like actually I'm not feeling this in my hip, you can just take this and flex that bottom foot and start to lift it up. Breathing here, deep breath one. Exhale, deep breath two. Exhale, deep breath three. Exhale, wherever you're at, you're gonna let it go. Take that leg up, circle your ankle in one direction, and then circle it in the other direction. Just breathing here as you're using each part of your body and loosening up. So we're gonna do that on the opposite side. I'm gonna take that left foot, Flex it, and then the left ankle comes up onto that right thigh. You're trying to take your knee towards the bottom of the mat, right? Keep that foot flexed to protect your knee, and you're going to breathe through. Deep breath one. Exhale. Deep breath two. If you want to lift that foot off the floor, that's fine. Exhale. Deep breath three. Exhale. Go ahead and place that foot on the floor if it was up. 
and then take that leg and then lift it, circle a few times in one direction, and then reverse the direction of that foot. You've got tight ankles, this will feel really good. Flex that foot, place it down on the floor. Give yourself a nice stretch here, deep breath in. And then exhale, hug your knees to your chest. Keep that tailbone as close to the ground as possible. I'm oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> Cat in the way there. Deep breath one. Exhale, deep breath two. Exhale, deep breath three. Exhale, go ahead and stretch it out and relax. And this time we're going to take our feet and place them on the ground. We're going to lift that left leg up this time and then flex that foot, right? Now, you don't need to have a strap, but if you do, you can, you can put it around your foot. But this is very gentle. We're starting at the, at the beginning of class. We're going to take our hands around our thigh, wherever we're at. Keep that tailbone on the ground. We're just going to stay here for a second. This might be enough of a stretch for you. That's fine. Deep breath one. Exhale. Deep breath two. Exhale. Deep breath three. Exhale. From here, you're going to lengthen with that right leg. So you might feel that stretch get a little bit deeper. Both feet are flexed. We're just going to take that left leg up and over. If you want to bend your knee, totally fine. But what you're going to do is you're going to keep your left shoulder on the ground. So if you want to take that left hand out, you're going to feel a little bit more of a hip stretch here. Deep breath one. Exhale. Deep breath two. Exhale. Deep breath three. Exhale. Go ahead and roll onto your back. Hug that knee towards your left armpit, flexing both feet. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. What do I have here going on? Go ahead and lengthen, stretch it out, deep breath in. Hug your knees to your chest, and then relax it. Go ahead and start to take that left foot to the ground, and then right foot comes up flexed. Holding the back of your thigh with your hands. Nothing crazy here as far as the stretches go. Just keep, try to keep that tailbone on the ground. Deep breath one. Exhale. Inhaling two. Exhale. Inhale three. Exhale. Go ahead and straighten that left leg. Right? Your right leg might drop a little bit. That's totally fine. If you want to bend your knee as you come to the side, twisting towards the left. Keep a straight leg. It's up to you. Looking over that right shoulder. Now keep that right shoulder on the floor. Deep breath one. Exhale. I'm going to keep my gaze up. Inhale two. Exhale. So you can hear me. Inhale three. Exhale. Go ahead and bring that leg back up. Flexing both feet. Taking that right knee to your right armpit. Right? Deep breath one. Exhale. Deep breath two. Exhale. Deep breath three. Exhale. Go ahead and give yourself a big stretch again. Point those toes. Deep breath in. And then exhale. Hug your knees to your chest. Now listen carefully. We're going to start rocking back and forth here. Inhale. Rock back. Exhale. Rock forward. Inhaling. Rock back. Exhale. Rock forward. Remember, work within your range. And then from here, try to hover. See if you've got your toes off the floor. You can even keep your toes on the ground. You're going to feel your belly engage. Don't roll back on your tailbone. Really be solid on those sit bones. So wherever you're at, we're going to take a few breaths here. Deep breath one. Exhale. Plug those shoulders in your shoulder socket. Inhale two. Exhale. Inhale three. And exhale. Take your hands down for stability. Extend your legs. Again, we're beginning the class, so nothing crazy. Walk your hands to wherever it makes sense. Find length in your spine. Deep breath one. Exhale. Deep breath two. Exhale. Deep breath three. Exhale. Taking your hands by your hips for stability again, and then bending those knees, keeping your toes on the ground. We're hovering just a bit for extra challenge, right? Deep breath one. Exhale. 
Deep breath two. Exhale. Deep breath three. Exhale. Hands come by the hips. A little bit of stability here as we extend the legs. Pashimotanasa, just very modified. Flex those feet. Right? Try to keep your toe, a big toe bounce even with your little toes. Deep breath one. Exhale. Deep breath two. Keep that belly engaged. Exhale. Deep breath three. Exhale. Go ahead and cross your legs here. And then roll onto your knees for just a second. And then when you're ready, you're going to step up. And then just hang down. I'm going to take the little one here off to the side. So you're going to hang down with bent knees and just loosen up. You can take it from side to side if you'd like, right? Wherever you're at, you're just letting it go as you're taking your breaths in and out. And when you're ready, you're going to start to stack each vertebrae on top of each other. Taking a deep breath in. Arms coming up to the sky. And then exhaling. Coming into Dadasana at the front of your mat. So you're going to be stepping to the front of your mat. I'll be switching sides during the class just so uh, you can see both right and left side. But you're going to be in front of your mat to your front of the mat. So you should probably be facing me. Right? So from here, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to take a deep breath in and then take our arms up to the sky. So you can have your big toes touching and heels slightly apart, or if you need to have your feet hip distance apart, that's up to you. So we're looking up to the sky. Full exhale. We're coming all the way down to the ground. Can you bend your knees here if you'd like? Inhale, warming up the body. And then exhale, coming down towards those toes. Listen carefully. Deep breath in. And then exhale. We're going to take that slow OMG, that curtsy towards the right side. Inhale. Exhaling one. Inhale. Exhaling two. Inhale. Exhale three. Go ahead. Come back to stand, taking your arms up to the sky. Full exhale. Start to come on down to the ground. Inhale, start to look up and take it all the way up to the sky, changing it up here as we exhale, taking that curtsy to the other side. Deep breath one. Exhale. Deep breath two. Exhale. Deep breath three. Exhale. Deep breath in as we take it back up to the sky, changing it up again. Full exhale as we come on down to the ground. From here, we're going to take it up to a flat back. You can take your hands to your thighs, looking up, deep breath in. And then exhale, we're going to step back into a plank position. Take your time, right? Fingers are nice and spread. From here, listen carefully. Drop those knees to the ground. Exhale, elbows come straight back. Chest and chin follow. Inhale, we're going to slither to, through to a baby cobra. So, shoelace sides of the feet are on the ground. Pinky toes are trying to reach the mat. Roll those shoulders back. Deep breath in. And then exhale. Tuck those toes under. Coming into a puppy dog stretch first. Really just feeling a long spine. And then we're coming into our first downward facing dog. Feet are hip distance apart. Heels are reaching for the ground. Deep breath in. Exhale. Deep breath two. Exhale. Deep breath three. Exhale. Bend those knees. Squeeze everything out and then slowly start to walk to the front of the mat. Inhale, looking up to a flat back. Exhaling the lift. Inhale, circle those arms up to the sky. Full exhale, arms to the side. Tadasana. Right? So advance yogis, you can do your, um, you can challenge yourself with uh, pumping it up just a little bit if you need to. Inhale, looking up to the sky. Full exhale, we're coming down to our toes. Inhale, we're circling it back up to the sky. Full exhale, curtsy to the right side. Inhale, exhaling one. Inhale, exhaling two. Bend evenly in those knees. Inhale. Exhaling three. Inhale, looking up to the sky. Full exhale, coming down to the ground. Inhale, circling back up to the sky. 
Exhale, taking it to the left side. Inhale. Exhaling one. Inhale. Exhaling two. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Start to take it up to the sky. Changing it here. Exhale. Coming down to the ground. Inhaling. Looking up to the flat back. I'm going to have a challenge here. Exhale. Stepping back to a plank position. So readjust yourself in your plank position. Make sure your heels are reaching for the back of the mat. Plug those shoulders into your shoulder sockets. Deep breath here. Exhale. Knees, chest, and chin. Advanced yogis, you know what to do if you want to pump it up. Inhale, slither through baby cobra. Exhale, tuck those toes under, coming into puppy dog stretch here. And then coming back up into downward facing dog. Inhale, exhaling one. Inhale, exhaling two. Inhale, exhale three. Bend your knees, squeeze all the breath out. Start to slowly walk towards your hands. Inhale, looking up to a flat back. Exhaling into the legs. Inhale, circle your arms up to the sky. Exhale, Tadasana. Let's do one more round of that. Inhale, taking your arms up to the sky. Exhale, diving down to the floor. Inhale, circling it up to the sky. Exhale, curtsying to the right. Inhale. Exhaling one. Inhale. Exhaling two. Inhale. Exhaling three. Inhale. Coming up to the sky. Full exhale. Taking it down to the ground. Inhale. Circling your arms back up. Exhaling over to the left side. Inhale. Exhaling one. Make sure your arms are active. Inhale. Exhaling two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Deep breath in. Take it back up to the sky. Exhale, dive on down to the floor. Inhale, look up to a flat back. Exhale, step back to a plank position. Inhale here. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Come to the floor. Inhaling, slithering through, baby cobra. Exhale, coming into puppy dog here. Really stretching it out, making sure your fingers are really making a connection with the ground. Press the mat away as you start to take your hips up to the sky. Inhale, exhaling one. Inhale, exhaling two. Inhale, exhale three. Bend those knees, squeeze all the breath out. Slowly walk to the front of your mat. Inhale, looking up to a flat back. Exhaling into the legs. Inhale, circle your arms up to the sky. Exhale, Tadasana. All right, so warming up the body. We're going to start to move to Surya Namaskar B. So from here, you can have your feet hip distance apart. Actually, let's have our feet hip distance apart. Almost mat distance apart even, right? So a little bit more than hip distance. Let's, let's come into a version of Utkatasana. So we're going to bend straight down. We're going to come here and come into Utkatasana. So try not to have your bottom coming out like this. You're trying to take that tailbone, engaging your belly down towards the floor. So you're going to feel this right now. I am. In your thighs. And you're trying to really place equal weight all over that foot. Right? And you're going to start to feel this in your quads here. But try to keep that tailbone reaching towards the floor. And you're probably going, I thought this was a gentle flow. And it is, right? We're not really making a lot of movement, but we're still trying to drop our shoulders towards our tailbone. We're still trying to reach towards the sky as we try to just get more strength into those legs, right? Keep that core engaged. Listen carefully. We're going to take a slow squat down to the floor. Now, if you need to take your hands down for stability, that's fine. And we're going to come into this squat here. If you're having troubles keeping your heels on the floor, you can roll that mat back a few times and place your heels there. Or else my towel is being used by a princess. You can roll that towel under you your heels for stability. So let's stay here for a second. Breathing in. Deep breath one. Exhale. Keep that tailbone reaching for the floor. Deep breath two. Exhale. 
breath three. Exhale. Inhale. Start two. Take it back up to the sky, right? Take your hips up to the sky. And then just come into this little bit of a stretch here. And then roll it up. Taking your arms up. And then exhale, coming back into Tadasana. So we're still at the front of our mats. Inhale here. Take that left foot behind you, coming into a warrior leg. Keeping both legs straight, straight for a second, realigning your hips, and then bending into that front knee. Keep that back foot anchored, inhaling, taking those hands up to the sky. Deep breath one. Exhale. Deep breath two. Exhale. Knees over the second and third toes of that front, uh, second and third toes of that front foot. Deep breath three. Exhale. Opening it up. Keeping that knee over that second and third toe. Deep breath one. Exhale. We've got warrior two here. Inhaling two. Exhale, deep breath three. Exhale, inhale, start to come back, warrior two. Warrior one, sorry guys. <laughs> Lift that back heel up. Now we're coming into this high lunge. So that back heel's up off the floor, but you're still trying to distribute the weight equally over the front and back foot. Now we're starting to find length in our spine as we come into this little back bend here. If you need to drop your knee, that's fine too. Inhale, exhaling one. Inhale, exhaling two. Inhale, exhale three. Inhale, go ahead and step to the front of the mat. Shake out your legs. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna switch sides so you can see me. We're gonna come to the other side, right? Take that right foot this time and then step it back into the warrior legs. Keep that front leg straight. Don't lock it out, but make sure your hips are facing the front of the mat here. Equal leg weight on both feet as we start to bend into that front knee and take your hands up to the sky. Inhale, exhaling one. Inhale, exhaling two. Inhale, exhale three. Deep breath in. Exhale, warrior two to the left side. Deep breath one. Exhale, deep breath two, relax those shoulders, but keep those fingertips stretching. Exhale, deep breath three. Exhale, coming back, warrior one, hips are facing the front of the mat. Lift that back heel up, you can always drop that back knee, right? Inhale, exhaling one. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Deep breath in, start to take it to the front of the mat. Tadasana. Feet come about mat distance apart. Let's try this again, right? Feet are about mat distance apart. We're coming into Utkatasana, different version, with our legs spread wide, right? Tailbone reaching for the floor. Keep engaging that belly. Find a focal point up on the wall in front of you. And breathe deeply here because this is a lot of work. When you're ready, start to come down into Malasana, coming into our squat position again. If you need to roll up your mat, now's the time to do it. Inhale. Exhaling one. Inhale. Exhaling two. Inhale. Exhale three. Take that left hand to the outside of that left foot. Coming into a gentle twist here. Take one. Exhale. Deep breath two. Exhale. Deep breath three. Exhale. Coming back to Malasana for one breath. Inhaling. And then exhale right fingertips to the outside of that right foot as we take the twist to the other side. Inhale. Exhaling one. Inhale. Exhaling two. Inhale. Exhale three. Hands come together. We're going to start to take our hips up to the sky, a little bit of a leg stretch here, and then start to roll it up, coming back up to the top, and then coming into Tadasana. Taking that left foot back behind you, stepping back into our warrior legs. 
Keep that front leg straight. Find weight on both feet, equally distributed. Keep those hips facing the front of the mat. Deep breath here. We're going to take a mini back bend. And then exhale, we're going to come to a flat back. Now feel that right hip moving back as that left hip moves forward. Deep breath one. Exhale. Should be able to put a sheet of papers on your sacrum here. Inhaling two. Exhale. Keep reaching with your head. Inhaling three. Exhale. From here, take both arms out beside you. Start to slowly bend into that front knee. It's a different way of coming into warrior one. Deep breath in, taking it up to the sky. Inhale, exhale, let's open it up into warrior two. Trying to reach each side of the mat with our fingertips as our shoulders relax. Inhale, start to straighten in that front leg and then reach towards the front of the mat. Staying here for a few breaths, inhale. Exhaling one, keep rotating from the belt. Inhale, exhaling two, inhale, exhale three, inhale, start to bend in that front knee, exhale, coming into warrior one, flipping that back foot, uh, heel up, coming into our high lunge, inhale, exhale, start to just lean forward with a flat back, so the head is an extension from your heel, right? Find just one long line of energy from the head down towards the heel. Inhale, exhaling one. Inhale, exhaling two. Inhale, exhale three. We're going to come into a flow here, so we're going to just step back. Coming in, dropping our knees to the floor. Exhale, chest and chin follow. Inhale, slither through, baby cobra. Exhale, let's come into downward facing dog. Taking a deep breath here. Exhale through the mouth. Deep breath two through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Deep breath three through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Close the mouth. Whoa. And then bend your knees. Start to walk forward towards the front of the neck. Go ahead and just hang in a ragdoll here. And then start to stack each vertebrae up towards the sky as we take our hands up and then exhale into that asana. I'm going to switch sides so you can see me. We're going to do the other side. Right leg comes back. We're coming into the warrior position with our legs, facing our hips towards the front of the mat like headlights here. Right? So equal weight distributed across both feet. Deep breath in, we're going to start to come into this mini back bend. Back bend's coming from the upper back as we hinge up the hips. Left hip is moving back as the right hip is moving forward. Right? Deep breath one. Exhale. Deep breath two. Exhale. Deep breath three. Exhale. Go ahead and take your arms behind you. Start to come into that bent knee, that knee on the front. Foot over hovering over that front foot is at a 90 degree angle, right? So a lot of work to be done here. Inhale, taking those hands up to the sky. Exhale, warrior two. Nothing changes with the feet. Equal distribution. Inhale, start to straighten that front knee and then reach forward. We're just hovering into this modified triangle here. Inhale, exhaling one. Twisting from the belly, trying to shine that chest up to the sky. Inhale. Exhaling two. Inhale. Exhale three. Start to bend deeply into that knee, hovering over the second and third toe, coming up. Warrior two. Inhale. Exhale. Warrior one. Listening carefully, we're going to take that heel off the floor. Keep those hips even as you come into this high lunge, right? your arms beside you and then just hovering with this long line of energy from the head down to the heel. Inhale. Exhaling one. You'll feel your core working here. Inhale. Exhaling two. Inhale. Exhale three. Hands come to the floor. Let's take a flow here. Stepping back into a plank position. Exhaling. Knees, chest, and chin coming to the floor. 
Inhale, baby cobra, Bhujangasana. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhaling through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. Inhaling through the nose. And exhaling through the mouth. Bend the knees, squeeze all the breath out. Slowly walk towards the front of the mat. Inhale, looking up to a flat back. Exhaling into the legs. Inhale, circling your arms up to the sky. Exhale, Tadasana. All right, so last round. We're going to work a little bit more on that squat. So we're coming in and taking our feet about mat distance apart, right? Bending deeply. We're trying to take that tailbone uh, down to the floor. You'll feel your core engage. And let's just stay here. And then incrementally, let's go down. Taking a deep breath in, we're just going to come down a little bit further. Let's see how we feel here. Inhale. Remember, full breath. Exhale, let's just come down a little bit deeper. Keep your torso nice and long. Inhale. Exhale, just a little bit deeper. Inhale. Exhale, let's come all the way down into that squat. Right? So you're going to feel that's a lot of work for your whole body. So whatever adjustments you have to do to make uh, the squat work for you, it's up, it's up to you. If you have to take your feet a bit, a bit further apart or put the mat or towel underneath your heels. Take a deep breath here and then take those left fingertips out to the side. Advanced yogis, if you want to go for your bind, go ahead. So binding would be like this, right? If that's, this is perfect right here. Inhaling, exhaling one. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale three. Coming back to center, readjusting ourselves. Deep breath in as we take our fingertips to the other side. And then left hand comes up. Deep breath one. Exhale. Deep breath two. Exhale. Deep breath three. Exhale. Coming back down. Now listen carefully. What happens if we take our tailbone and start to hover just about a couple of inches of straightening our legs? How does that change our squat here as we look forward, right? You're going to feel this in your quads. It's just a tiny micro movement. Deep breath one. Exhale. Deep breath two. Exhale. Deep breath three. Exhale. Start to straighten all the way up. Now take your feet even further apart. So you're going to be across your mat, right? Take your hands to your hips, rolling your shoulders back. Let's start to engage the belly as we hinge at the hips into this wide angle stretch. You can take your hands down to the ground so your fingertips are aligned with your toes. Inhale, so your elbows are moving straight to the back of the room. Exhaling one. Everybody can place more weight on the fronts of their uh, feet. Inhale, exhaling two. Inhale, exhaling three. Inhale, keep working those legs. Exhaling four. Inhale, exhaling five. Go ahead and come up to a flat back, taking a deep breath here. Hands come to the hips. Exhale, inhale, come all the way up to stand. Exhale, coming back into Tadasana. Take that left leg back. Uh, both legs are straight. Taking the hips towards the front of the mat, rolling those shoulders back, getting deeper in your back bend here. And then exhale, let's take it all the way down. Great place for blocks if you have them. So keep those hips even as we come on down to the ground. Inhale, exhaling one. Inhale, exhaling two. Inhale, exhale three. Inhale, come on up to a flat back. Exhale here. Inhale, go ahead and take your arms back as you start to bend into that front knee, keeping that back leg anchored to the floor. Exhale, warrior one. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, start to straighten that front knee. And then exhale, reaching for the front of the room. And then tilting it to wherever it makes sense. Great place for a block again as you come into your triangle pose. Inhale, we'll take five breaths here. 
Exhaling one. Inhale. Exhaling two. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Exhale four. Inhale. Exhale five. Really start put power into those legs as we start to come on up to stand. Whoa, teacher falls. And then start to come down into warrior two again. Step back just a little bit. Warrior two. And then coming through warrior one, taking that back heel up off the floor, finding that back bend again. And this time, we're going to take that left hand either to a block or to the floor and take a twist here. Deep breath one. Exhale. Deep breath two. Exhale. Deep breath three. Exhale. Deep breath four. Exhale. Deep breath five. Exhale. Both hands come to the floor. Great place for a block again. We're going to come up into that long line of energy. And then, if you want, you can use your blocks or a wall coming into warrior three. Flexing that back foot. Inhaling. Exhaling one. Inhaling. Exhaling two. Inhaling. Exhale, three. Go ahead and come back into that high lunge. Take your hands to the floor. Step your back. Let's take a flow. Dropping your knees, chest, and chin to the ground. Inhaling, baby cobra. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhaling through the nose. And exhaling through the nose. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. Go ahead and bend your knees. Use all the breath up and then walk towards the front of your mat. Inhale, looking up, pull flat back. Exhale into the legs. Inhale, circle your arms up to the sky. Exhale, Tadasana. One more on the left side, right? So, inhale, start to take that right foot back into those warrior legs. Right? I always forget my blocks whenever I reverse the direction. Hat of hips are forward like headlights. We're taking an even bigger back bend here. And then exhale, we're hinging at the hips, coming down to the ground to blocks, fingertips, whatever makes sense. Even if you have a chair, that's a great place to do it. Inhale, exhaling one. Inhale, exhaling two. Inhale, exhale three. Inhale, exhale four. Inhale, exhale five. Start to come on up, taking your arms behind you. Bend deeply into that knee as we inhale, coming up into warrior one. Exhale here. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. Exhale. Inhale, straighten. And then exhale, reach for the front of the mat. Twisting from the belly and then coming up over into Trikonasana, triangle pose, deep breath one. Exhale, deep breath two. Exhale, deep breath three. Exhale, deep breath four. Exhale, deep breath five. Exhale, fire up those legs, coming up to stand. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, moving through the warrior one, then flipping that back heel off the floor. Inhale, exhale, we're taking a twist to the other side. Inhale, exhaling one. Inhale, exhaling two. Inhale, exhale three. Inhale, exhale four. Inhale, exhale five. Go ahead and take both hands down. And then when you're ready, coming into that long line of energy as we start to come up into warrior three. Again, walls are great, right? So whatever makes sense for you for your balance here. Deep breath one. Exhale. Deep breath two. Exhale. Deep breath three. Exhale. Back foot is flexing like crazy. Inhale four. Exhale. Inhale five. Exhale. Coming down to the ground, taking our hands down to bind each side of that foot, and then stepping back. Let's take our float here, dropping our knees, chest, and chin. Exhaling. Inhale. 
Living through baby cobra. Exhale, three breaths into downward facing dog. Inhale, exhaling one. Inhale, exhaling two. Inhale, exhale three. Bend those knees, squeeze all the breath out, and listen carefully. We're going to step or jump through to sit. Right? Taking a little breather here. Maybe your thighs need a little extra attention. Right? Okay, let's uh, do a little bit of core here. So let's go back to the beginning of class. We had our finger, or fingertips, our toe tips on the ground. My tailbone is not on the ground. I'm on my sit bones. So try and be conscious of that. Don't roll into that lower back. You're really engaging your belt. So this is a lot of work right here. You want to move on? Let's take it up off the ground. Inhale. Exhaling one. Inhale, exhaling two, inhale, exhale three, inhale, exhale four, inhale, exhale five. Place both feet on the ground, give yourself a hug, straighten through the spine. And then when you're ready, let's come back. We have toes on the ground. Now, if your toes are on the ground, you can take one, your right hand to the floor, and then start to reach. Just twisting from the belly, reaching to the right side. And then exhale, relax. Make sure your shoulders are coming back to center. Inhale, start to reach towards the right. Exhale, if your feet are off the ground, you're reaching towards the right. Exhale, reaching towards the right. Exhale, and then reach towards the right. Exhale, everybody come down. Give yourself a hug, straighten through that spine. Let's do the other side. Coming back, either your toes are on the ground or else you can lift. You can press your hand on the ground and then start to reach towards the left side and then straighten your shoulders. Inhale, two, reach, just twisting from the belly. Exhale, your hips are staying even. Inhale, three, exhale. Inhale, four, exhale, inhale, five, exhale. Go ahead and place your feet on the ground. Give yourself a hug, right? So you're coming really strong on your sit bones and straightening up through your whole spine. And then exhale, walk your legs out, and then start to come all the way down to the crib. So what you're going to do from here is you're going to... Flip on your belly so that you're facing me still, so you can see me. We're going to take our, our hands, our arms, underneath us, and we're just going to breathe here for a second. And then from here, we're going to take the shoelace side of the feet onto the floor, their hip distance apart, pinky toes are reaching for the mat, and then we're going to start to come into sphinx. So make sure your elbows are underneath your shoulders. And then you're just taking your arms out, right? Keep those legs super fired up. It's going to save your lower back. Make sure your fingers are nice and spread. Keep rolling your shoulders back. And we can just stay here. Inhale. Exhaling one. Inhale. Exhaling two. Inhale. Exhaling three. Inhale. Exhaling four. Inhale. Exhaling five. Go ahead and come and make a pillow with your arms. Shake your booty out. Right? Again, if you have any back issues or any conditions that are restricting, be careful with back bends, but be very, very careful with the forward bends. That's actually even um, something more to look out for if you have back issues. All right, let's line it up again. Let's make sure our uh, elbows are underneath our shoulders. We're going to spread our arms out. Fingertips are nice and spread, so you kind of press them out of the way. This is going to be more challenging for me right now um, between all the cats coming through and standing on me. So I'm rolling my shoulders back, and I'm firing up my legs. My pinky toes are trying to reach for the floor. So you can stay here, and that's totally fine. Let's see if I can start to straighten with this distraction on me. And I'm going to just lift my elbows just a little bit off the ground. Inhale. Exhaling one. 
Inhale, exhaling two. Inhale, exhaling three. Inhale, exhaling four. Inhale, exhale five. Go ahead and relax down, making a pillow with your forearms, shaking your booty out. We're breathing here. And when you're ready, let's start to take our elbows underneath our shoulders. Taking our hands, rolling the shoulders back, firing up those legs. Those legs are super important, right? So I should be able to uh, take a piece of paper and slip it underneath your knees. We're going to start to come back up into our sphinx. If you've got more of an advanced practice, you can start to play with starting to straighten your arms. Be very careful. That means your legs should be working like crazy. Inhale. Exhaling one. Inhale. Exhaling two. Why do I feel like I'm being locked right now? Inhale. Exhaling three. Inhale. Exhaling four. Inhale. Exhale five. Go ahead and slowly lower wherever you're at. Taking your elbows down to the ground, shaking out your booty, relaxing your legs. This is going to be very tricky. People with back issues, please be careful. And if you have a cat on your back, be extra careful as we come back into child pose. You want to let me do this? Huh? 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 All right. Everybody come back into child pose. And then go ahead, I'm going to face you so you can see me. Sit with me. You're going to take your left arm underneath you and then take it through the right side. Deep breath here. Exhale. Deep breath two. Exhale. Deep breath three. Exhale. Deep breath four. Exhale. Deep breath five. Exhale. Go ahead and Come back to child's pose for just a breath, and then take it to the other side. Deep breath one, exhale. Deep breath two, exhale. Deep breath three, exhale. Deep breath four, exhale. Deep breath five, exhale. Bring it back to center, and then start to come on up. Come to a seated position, just a few stretches. Can you stretch with me? Go ahead and, and uh, make sure your feet are flexed here. It's a great place for your towel or for a strap. All right, coming back into that Hashimoto we are doing it at the beginning of class. Probably a little more loosened up night by now, so you can probably get a little bit deeper. Remember, this is about hinging at your hips. Really engage your belly. You're going to get there further by taking the top of your head towards the front of the mat. So the goal is to try and get your head past your toes, not your stomach on your thighs. So wherever you're at, roll your shoulders back and start to come into your Prashimottanasana. Deep breath one, exhale. Deep breath two, exhale. Deep breath three, find length. Exhale, get deeper. Inhaling four, lengthen. Exhale. Inhaling five, exhale. Go ahead and release. Shake out your legs. Take that right foot over that left thigh. Make sure you're standing on that right foot. Flex that left foot. Take your left hand around that thigh. And then fingertips behind you. You don't want to be flopping back. You really want to feel engaged here. As you start to look over your right shoulder, deep breath one. Exhale, deep breath two. Exhale, deep breath three. Exhale, deep breath four. Exhale, deep breath five. Exhale, counter twist to the other side. And then let's come back into our Paschimottanasana, flexing both feet again. All right, so wherever you're at, keep flexing those feet, almost as if your heels are coming off the ground. And then roll your shoulders back, trying to get the top of your head past your toes. Deep breath one, 
exhale. Deep breath two, exhale. Deep breath three, exhale. Deep breath four, exhale. Deep breath five, exhale. Go ahead and loosen it up. Coming back up to sit, shaking it out. Taking that left foot over this time. Standing on that left foot, flexing that right. Taking your fingertips behind you, and then taking that right elbow over that uh, left thigh or just hugging it as we take a twist to the left side. Deep breath one, exhale. Deep breath two, exhale. Deep breath three, exhale. Deep breath four, exhale. Deep breath five, exhale. Go ahead and counter twist to the other side. And then when you're ready, just shake out your legs for a second again. And then coming into Baddha Konasana, we're just going to take our heels as close to our sit bones as possible. So you don't want to be rolling back again. So you might be out a little bit further. That's fine. Wherever you're at, you're going to open up your feet like a book. And then trying to get those knees towards the ground. Keep a straight spine as you start to take the head past the toes. And coming down into this stretch should feel really good. Deep breath one. Exhale. Deep breath two. Exhale. Deep breath three. Exhale. Deep breath four. Exhale. Deep breath five. Exhale. Go ahead and come on up to sit. When you're ready, we're going to make a diamond shape with our legs. So we're all in the same pose. You're going to feel this more in your hips. So Tarasana, our feet are together. You can take your ankles as you start to straighten through the spine and then come just a little deeper. You should feel this in your hips. It should feel good. Deep breath one. Exhale. Deep breath two. Exhale. Deep breath three. Exhale. Deep breath four. Exhale. Deep breath five. Exhale. Go ahead. Come on up. Take your legs out in front of you. Shake it out. We're going to start to come into our Shavasana. So, I'll start to roll back up and get the feeling I'm going to have a cat on me at the end of this. I'm going to just take it right, get right, right down towards the ground. And then reward yourself for your practice. Just let it go. Taking your ankles and just relaxing them down on the floor. Taking your hands your arms, and just relaxing everything, letting go of that breath, that Ujjayi breath, that metered breath that we were doing. And just letting our breath come in and out naturally. Closing your eyes. And I'll be here to guide you out. So relax into this. Let everything go. Start to breathe deeper. Bring life back into your bodies. Wiggle your fingertips. Wiggle your toes. 
And then start to rotate your ankles and wrists in one direction. And then reverse the direction when you're ready. When you're ready, go ahead and give yourself the stretch that we did at the beginning of class, reaching in opposite directions. And then exhale, go ahead and give yourself a big hug, taking your knees to your chest. Roll over to the right side for more relaxing energy, or the left side for more energizing energy. Wherever you're at in your day, just keep your eyes closed and you make a pillow with your arm. When you're ready, go ahead and start to work your way up to a seated position. You can put a block or a towel underneath your sit bones for just a little extra lift. Taking the backs of your hands to your knees. Take your hands to your chest. Take your thumbs to your forehead. To your lips. Back down to your chest. Closing the practice. Namaste. Thanks, everyone. Thank you for joining me today after our break. Thank you. Welcome back. Thank you.